Oh boy, this episode. First off, SpongeBob has had a lot of duds in throughout its entire run. But, pro but probably one of their bigger duds is season 6 to 8. And one course, and when we're talking about season 6, 1 to 8, and we're talking, if we're talking about season 6 to 8, and if we're talking about spat ups of the SpongeBob SquarePants, I think it's pretty obvious that one course meal will definitely be one of them. So, alright, let's roast this pile of the dumpster. This episode involves Mr. Krabs and Spongebob at the Krusty Krab, and of course, Plankton. <clears throat> Inkton comes and tries to steal the formula, and, I mean, the scene with Spongebob and Mr. Krabs defending the Krusty Krab against Plankton, I mean, I kind of like that scene. And, that, and then that good scene is cut out when Pearl comes in, and this is where we get our reveal. Plankton has a phobia of whales. Now, and of course, this gets Mr. Krabs the brilliant idea to scare the living crap out of him. Okay, first off, yes, it, it yes, whales do eat plankton. That is true. We want to know what else pearls, what, what whales eat? Crab. Whales eat crabs too. And it's considered and considering the fact that Mr. Krabs is a crab and Pearl's a whale. That's some pretty dark stuff. So of course this now we get to this this scene where Plankton takes out the trap and a Pearl pops out there and scares Plankton. In fact, Pearl scares Plankton like twice. Hire Miss Yeah, Mr. Krabs hired Pearl to scare Plankton twice. And then oh boy, then we get to this scene. So okay, first off. This episode, okay first, okay first off, this episode, I mean, I mean there's this scene where Plankton is in the bed, he's going to sleep, and then there's a scene, Plankton, and, his, and he dreams of him running away from Pearl, who's apparently a monster, and he gets eaten, and I'm like, okay first off, this episode is definitely one of the most darkest episodes of Spongebob. And, and you can make dark episodes right work. Take with Nasty Patty from season three, where SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs thought they murdered a health inspector by giving him a Nasty Patty. Here's the, the here. There's a bunch of reasons why it worked. One, none of the characters were unlikable. Two, it was actually funny. And three, they actually. They actually have characters who actually give a crap. Well, mostly SpongeBob in that episode. So, and it was implied that, it, that the Hulk Spectre wasn't actually dead. And now what makes Nasty Patty a more enjoyable episode? One Course Meal, on the other hand, does. It's an episode that's so dark it's that it's really not enjoyable. Seeing Plankton miserable throughout the episode isn't funny. In fact, I'm one, gonna one get this out of the way. Then there's the infamous scene, and oh boy. Plankton. Then they hear up the scene where Plankton lies on the road and waiting for the bus, and. Oh no. Yeah. You can, you can already know where it is going. Plankton wants to commit suicide. Okay, first. Yeah. Now this is probably that this is episode this episode gives out a pretty bad callback. This episode I'm seeing similarities for the for for this episode and the boys of Bummer from The Simpsons. Where two where both Plankton and Bart are tormented for, for the entire episode that they can't take anymore and they want to end their lives. Yeah. One court at least with the boys of Bummer, at least the care at least the Springfield actually learned their lesson and felt bad. But that, but however, that, that that doesn't work because they need to learn. I mean, they need to learn by themselves. And the only way, and the reason why they get their learn lessons is because they get torn off by Marge. I mean, having Marge scold the people for what they're doing is something, and that's definitely I'm like, and that's actually one of the positives. But you need to have the characters learn by themselves. One course, I mean, one course meal doesn't have any characters learning their lesson. Uh, I want to talk about Mr. Krabs here. 
I, def I definitely agree that this is Mr. Krabs' worst appearance. Mr. Krabs has ha had a lot of unlikable appearances. But unlike those episodes, at least it, it, it doesn't go to the extreme. Here? No. I cannot excuse that. Throughout the episode, Mr. Krabs outright scares Plankton so much to the point it drives him to suicide. And how am I supposed to find this funny? Treating suicide as as comedy is not funny. In, fa in, fa in, fa in fact, I'm going to say this episode. This episode suffers from identity crisis. It, tr it tries to be mature and tries to be comedic at the same time. Where it tries to be comedic, where the whole with the whole point of being scared thing, and they try to take a mature where Plankton's miserable and lying on the road. I, I'm pretty sure this is probably something that a lot, not many people point out. This episode is another episode that suffers from identity crisis. It tries to be funny and mature at the same time, and it fails. Now. Now, the, now, I mean, there's a scene where Spongebob to tells Plankton. In fact, Spongebob, for the, in this episode, episode, knows that Mr. Krabs is, 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 knows that Mr. Krabs is going too far. Hell, he even says that, says that, tells, tells Mr. Krabs that he's going a little too far. In fact, he even goes and tell, tells Plankton that that's Mr. Krabs in a, in a, in a, in a whale costume. At least they actually had a scene where Spongebob at least told Plankton. At least that makes Spongebob a little more a little likable and more likable than Mr. Krabs. No, that doesn't make him good though. <clears throat> because by the end of the episode, he helps Mr. Krabs because Mr. Krabs trapped in mines because Plankton had a plan to get back on Mr. Krabs. And by showing him a, proje and a projector of whales. And yeah, Krabs wins. Like that. Uh, I hate it when these episodes have characters getting off unlikable characters getting off scot free. Unlike unlike other episodes, even though compare that this episode to other episodes, where Mr. Krabs does something bad, and yet at least the unlike those episodes, at least they actually give him commitments. Here, they don't even bother to do that. They have Mr. Krabs get off scot free. For literally scaring the crap out of Plankton. How, how freaking amazing. So yeah. One course meal. Is a terrible episode. The worst episode of Spongebob. In fact one of the worst episodes of cartoon history. I mean. This episode. This episode. Portrays suicide as comedy. And. It portrays suicide in a really disgusting way. I mean, not as disgusting as what Family Guy has done in an episode, but, yeah. So guys, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. This episode sucks, I can tell you that. Worst episode is fine, Bob. Yeah. So guys, thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you want to see more episodes of, of Ronnie Animation, subscribe to the channel. We're close to 900 subscribers, and yeah. That's all I have to say, and I'll see you next time.